It's the middle of the night, and you wake up scared because you hear this. Okay, so you're sick and tired of your iPhone squawking when a government alert comes on, uh, some type of Amber Alert, it goes crazy. It could have been in the middle of the night, like what happened to me, uh, at like 2 in the morning and 4 in the morning. Uh, it was going crazy, and it's an event that's four hours away and has nothing to do with me or my community, yet they wake up everyone uh, within a four-hour radius or bigger. So how do you turn this thing off? It's pretty easy, actually. So first of all, why are they doing it? Uh, first, it's an alert issued by your country or your region's government. The second one is alerts involving imminent threats to safety or life, uh, like a tornado. Oh, that feeds into the next one. Alerts for extreme weather conditions. Uh, Amber alerts, so missing kids, it's a broadcast emergency response, and public safety alerts. Um, okay, so how do you turn this off? So turn it off at your own risk. You know, you're, you're probably an adult, so you can make the decision. Um, so you want to go to settings, and I'll show you on the iPhone, uh, notifications. You're going to scroll to the very bottom of the screen. And see, this is why it's sort of hard to find if you're just looking through your settings. So scroll to the bottom in notifications. And then under government alerts, turn the type of alert on or off. So make the decision. It's all on you. Uh, now here is, I'm going to continue here. Here is the thing that makes me angry. This is for United States. Um, and it mentions it on the Apple Canada site. If you look up here, it says English Canada. So it's saying we can do it, yet we can't. So they've, they've taken that away from us in Canada. So let's go to the Rogers page. Uh, I'm with Bell, but Bell and Rogers are our two biggest communication firms, companies, and they have turned it off. We cannot turn it off. Here it is here uh, from Rogers. Uh, unfortunately, in Canada, it's not allowed to be disabled. The government has made it that way, so everyone can be alerted. Ooh, great. Thank you. Thank you so much, because I really had to get woken up twice in the middle of the night and freaked out the family. Uh, because of something that happened four hours away from me, there was a, I think there was, a child was involved and the granddad did something and then returned the kid and it was no big deal, no big deal, but everyone in Ontario, Canada, got woken up in the middle of the night. So anyways, guys, we can't do it. Uh, the only solution uh, for people in Canada is to put it into silent mode and I still don't know if that's going to stop the alarm from going off. I really don't. So this is super annoying for if you live in Canada and great if you live in the United States or other places where the normal thing is right here. Go to settings, notifications, scroll to the very bottom of the screen. And sometimes that takes a while. I'll show you on my phone. And then you have the choice of turning your government alerts on or off. So please enjoy that if you are not in Canada. Otherwise, uh, you are something out of luck. So please, if this helped you at all, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers, guys. Bye.